Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low carb. Oh, fuck you. So where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, yeah, oh, sane, 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 okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you. He hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here, by calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, all right? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. He's tailing. If he's back to Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about it? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. That's right, Chop. We're gonna fuck them up as soon as Trevor get here. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of Chumas. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right.
broke in a row! Oh, fuck! Roll on this food, child. Do it. Oh, shit. Trevor, man, shit. You there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed. They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. in. You down, you asshole. There he is. Get that motherfucker. You ain't getting it. Last guy's done, homie. All right. Stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. All right. Now that the angry hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh, sure. Yeah, there's some bikers. Chinese, Madrizos people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular.
Maybe they stole the contract. No, nope, you didn't. Ugh. I went to their farm and I killed a lot of them and then I blew it up. Killed a lot of them? Yes! I think that was Elwood, Walton, and Wynn who we killed just then. I killed Ernie, Earl, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dalton, and Don, and a few other guys when I blew up the farm. So, maybe this was kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah, you are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for sure. Coming into land. Don't it feel good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. First you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife. Ah, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier! Oh, there's a surprise! I knew it would become about you! I miss my family! Oh, you're full of shit! All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them! Fucking incredible! I'll tell you what's incredible! Fucking incredible! Hey! You mother... Hey! What? Enough! You got me out here! You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit! If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could've stayed my ass in Los Santos! Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palano Bay. We're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. If that crazy motherfucker was with us now, he would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Polito Bay, let's hit this shit. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we're doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. Ah, uh, shit, not me. Come on. Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah. 25 years ago. Jesus! You! Generic goon! What was your first bank score? Okay, little Don't miscalculation, uh, man. Robin Stash passed on count, I guess. Let me think. First real lick. Uh, all right, yeah, armor card. When we spoke down in these floors, know what I'm saying? The honey coming. Yeah, how much you take? 200, 1,000. Oh, big dog. First time out. I had to send most of it up the ladder, yo. Repping Bagos, homie? Yeah, so that was when I went independent. Man, I hear you on that one. Man, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death. Bonding, 
pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember, if he don't remember, I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job. Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here. I'll back the facts. The checks cash place. I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> ah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay. The score was like two stacks, man. 2G? Take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, home. Money was useless then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something. Ow, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. Who, me? Yeah, you. Wouldn't laugh, wouldn't hang out. I've got my work, I've got my life. I never the truth shall mean. If we're risking our asses, we gotta be family. How about that, die back? Man, fuck you, sis of human. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, Get ready, because we're going to want to go ASAP. I'm going to get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you got to be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you. We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. And risk getting ID'd. You're an idiot. I gotta go! It's number two! Yeah, we'll pinch it off. All right, we all good? Let's hit them! Are we doing this? On the ground! This is a stick-up! Today's going one of two ways, friends. Everyone on the floor, now! You and you, out from behind the counter. That's it, hands in the air. M, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Okay, you got On the crowd. floor. Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out. I think I've got two. Keep the door down, M. Just try it. M, you gonna kick it open for me? <laughs> Ever meet this alarm guy? Fucking shoot him. Yeah, not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. There is no way out! Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. <sighs> Sweet mother of shit.
Fence me in. This is a hard fight, but this suit might get us through it, yo. Over there! Plow through it! There is no way out! Hey, Frank! We need another escape room! Can you find a vehicle? Something might stand up a gunfire. That's the construction around the way. I hope you got it! Back there, Frank! I'm cool, just keep going! 
train! Come on! Kid! You still alive? I'll be cool with- Just jump the team of them outside. We might be okay if we make it to the train. What the? Platform. The platform. Let's go. Friendly, Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-Man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, and here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you home. Right. Fuck. Seat belt. Serious? There's that Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell? You're like a high school athlete, living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat, and now you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? THE monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, baby! Oh. Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. Oh, man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece.
right, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it! Make it a fast boat! Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So, it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by a... <laughs> Merryweather. Oh, Merryweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel trade. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes artwork. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. Like a mirage in the desert. Here's my train. I've got a ticket! Hold up! Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay. I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back in the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That shit, 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 shit! There's a new conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Got it? Eat it? Be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. Train ain't stopping here, boys! You under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'll power through to the bridge. I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot to pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Oh. Recovery teams arrive! You wanna die in that box? Let's go! I can tell you I'm looking, or I can actually look!
Now the parachute regiment turns up! We can't hang around here! Let's move it! Hey, you ain't motivating me! I'm moving as fast as I can! Got something? Let's get the fuck out of here! What? Finally! Come on! All aboard! Come on, let's go! Down the rapids, if you please! We got both on us! Nature, you're right, it's a beautiful thing. There's nothing natural about this. Nada! I hope the fish eat your eyes! Bump T! She's yours! The ground forces are on us! Whip! Imminent children first! Hey, Em! Good thing you changed clothes! You couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing! through your glands? My glands are just fine, without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? A couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Man didn't even get a trial, just popped up in Supermax. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Nah. Yeah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every day inch of the way, all right? right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business, uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh, you know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us, please it's just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, Fucker. look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a freaking lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die? Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Orton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes. Go to work punching through. Roger. 
We ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Dave, you're on point. I'm leaving from the rear. I got the wall, quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Defibrillate our friend here, Michael. Let's go, let's go! You, don't be a hero! Drop your weapon! Okay! Now hit the elevator! Elevator's coming down! Someone's on board! Easy 
now. Easy now. Please, don't. You got clearance? Give it up. Please don't hurt me. Give it up. Ah. Get the pass. here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. Two lab geeks. Got to deal with them. You're not clear for live ammo. Not yet. We got to keep moving. Corridor goes around to the left. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. Just as I was getting used to having 
and the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's ready. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. 
Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davey, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. Who's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's going to be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> Sorry, everyone I love abandoned me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. To treat you. I know. I know. You tried to hurt me. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I miss you already. F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Oh, my boy! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah, some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me. Okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. 
Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Debra, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! There, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. Just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Ray. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Look, this is it. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin.
Mr. DeSanta, good to see you. My family came home today. We gotta get it in. Hell yeah! Hey, hey. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something we could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. I need to talk to Michael about it. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate.
Disabled or killed? I'll take bets. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. No! 
Uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. And take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye.
Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job, and then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Where you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you. You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on. We'll order pizza. Fuck you. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. I'm not going to listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, alive! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. It's great to, uh... There a plane I can use? Get me across country? Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! 
Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? It comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. 
Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips, Mr. Cho has requested a word. Hey, ho, ho, I'm not the guy you're looking for. Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Can out. Kill. Who are your friends, T? Making a mistake! And another man. <laughs> okay. If you were local, you'd know the train comes by right now. <laughs> Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? Trevor. Fuck! 
他妈的，他在那里，帮我看你手。You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. 你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你们的小弟弟，你
He over at the usual place. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. My favorite game. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling me? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired? From, from creeping. From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk through. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah. Bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah. A liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the dead. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me 
and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker! One time was on a ride! This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? One time all over this shit. <clears throat>
This Frank, Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure, for the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. Procopio it is! Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, the last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? We are women! We are free! We're bringing an end to the patriarchy! We are women! Hear our pain! We are women! Hear our shout! We are women! We have no doubt! We are women! We are free! We are Shut women. the are fuck up! Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh, when a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Oh, no. What, oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act, you little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I, I apologize. I accept your apology, okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! <laughs> right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha. Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny. I'm fucking asshole. Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult. Childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have just. Look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? 
friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. But Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. I told you! He ain't my Gila! Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers! He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Kevin hey. Phillips oh. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, hey, hey! Hey! Let me down! Let me... Fuck it down! Laws, okay? Hey, you holding my friend against his will! Trevor! 
were dead. Who's Go right? figure. I'm gonna check around the corner. Can you get yourself down? Clear the corridor, then we'll get out of here. You need to tell me twice. Fuckers are they? You want to get out of here? Come on, pick yourself up. We're getting out of here. Of his shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Frank, thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro, of course I did. If this shit means anything, shit, the second I knew. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your cell signal. Ah, Lester. But how'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Yankee. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh shit. We're up there, and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me, he fucks off. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin West? Weston? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars. Only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. All right, then, I'll see ya. Show. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right, well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it was the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? 
Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Just saying. 